Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther and today I will be showing you how to make these beautiful roses. They are very easy and fast to make. And I will show you step by step how to make it. These are the materials that I will be using today. I have here a two millimeters crochet hook. Uh, this is the wire for the um, leaves. We need a hot glue gun, scissors, and I have here for the stems that I will be cutting in half. And we will need some of these um, balls, foam balls. For the leaves and the stems, I will be using this green. It's the same uh, brand as this white that I have here. And for the petals, I will be using this one. It's uh, Symphonia Sport Weight, 100% cotton. And here is the information for this yarn. And you can use any colors of your choice. And I forgot to tell you, we will need one crochet marker as well. So to start, magic circle. Chain one. Going into the magic circle, we're going to be making 10 half double crochets. I want you to mark the first one here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then half double crochets. Pull up this um, end here to close the magic circle. And we're going to be making one slip stitch here uh, on, in the first stitch that we made. Okay, now make sure you close this, this hole here in the middle. And for the second round, make one chain. This is not going to count as, as one stitch. Go back to the same stitch and make two half double crochets. One and two. Just make sure you are carrying this all the way around. For the second round, we're going to be making two half double crochet on each stitch. At the end, we will have 20 double crochets, 20 half double crochets. Just continue making two half double crochets on each stitch. Okay, I'm going to make my two last half double crochet here. And we should have 20 half double crochets for the at the end of the round number two. Um, make one slip stitch here on top of the first half double crochet made. We have two rounds. For the next round, it's going to be the number three. 
chain one, go back to the first stitch and make one half double crochet. In the second stitch, we're going to be making one increase. And as you can see, we already done hiding the tail. So next okay. stitch is going to be two half double crochets in the same space. One, go back to the same one and make one more. Next stitch is going to be one half double crochet. Next stitch, two half double crochets. One and two in the same place. One half double crochet in the next stitch. Two half double crochet in the next stitch. One and two. One half double crochet. And two half double crochet in the next stitch. And this is how we're going to be working for the round number three, increasing every second stitch. At the end of the round number three, we should have 30 half double crochets. Make one slip stitch here in the first half double crochet made. For the next round is going to be the number four. Make one chain. This is not going to count as a stitch. Go back to the same spacing. Now we're going to be making single crochets. I have one and we're going to be making a total of 11 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven single crochets. On the next three stitches, we're going to be making two half double crochets on each one. So yarn over, go to the next stitch and make one half double crochet. Yarn over, go back to the same space and make one more half double crochet. Make two half double crochets in the next space. One and two. Two half double crochets in the next space. One and two. We have three increases here. One, two, and three increases. Make one half double crochet on each of the next two stitches. One. Go to the next stitch and make one half double crochet. We did two singles right there. On the next three stitches, we're going to be making two half double crochets. One, go back to the same space and make one more half double crochet. On the next stitch, make two half double crochets in the same space. One, go back to the same space and make one more half double crochet. Next stitch is going to be two half double crochets. One, Go back to the same space and make one more. So here we made three, three in increases here. Then we make two by, uh, singles and then three more increases on the next three stitches. We are going to finish making single crochet on the last 11 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven single crochets. Now make one slip stitch here on top of the first um, single crochet made. And we are done with the round number four for the number five and this is going to be the last round chain one go back to the same space and make one single crochet keep making one single crochet until you have 11. we have one here two three four five six seven eight, nine, ten, and eleven single crochets. Ok, 
Okay, we have 11 single crochets. We have 11 single crochets. Next stitch is going to be half double crochet. Half double crochet in the next space. And in the next 10 stitches, we're going to be making two double crochets. If you want, you can like count 10 stitches and then place a marker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, we have 10 stitches right there. Uh, and we're going to be making two double crochets on each of the, the uh, on each of the next 10 stitches. one and two go to the next stitch and make two double crochets one and two and continue making two double crochets all the way to the marker and if you want to buy the reading instructions uh, you can visit my Etsy shop. I will make sure to leave the link in the box description below. And you can get the pattern there. Okay, I am almost done here with my double crochets. These roses are very easy to make and they look so beautiful. Well, I will remove my marker here in the last stitch and I will make two more double crochets here. And we should have 20 double crochets here on these um, stitches. On the next two stitches, we're going to be making one half double crochet and one more half double crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to finish making one single crochet on the last um, 11 stitches. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 single crochets. My next step is going to be making the slip stitch here on the first single crochet made. One, two, and three chains, turn, and we're going to be making um, two double crochets here in this space after the chain three. Make one and two uh, double crochets. Just like this now, chain one, And here is the petal for the roses. And you can make the roses with four petals, five or six petals if you want it bigger. And as you can see, it's very easy and fast to make. And for this wire, this is what I do. I just like fold it like this and estimate it. So I will cut, cut the wire right there. And it measures about 12 inches and a half. If you want the stem to be longer, uh, you can cut 15 inches of the wire. Okay. Let's put that aside now for now. And we're going to start making the leaves. For that, we're going to start making a slip knot on our hook. And we're going to chain 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen chains. Beginning in the second chain from the hook, we are going to be making one single crochet. One half double crochet in next stitch. 
one double crocheting next stitch I'm sorry it's double crochet so we have single crochet half double crochet and double crochet one more double crocheting next stitch make two double crochets in the next stitch we're going to be making one increase here one go back to the same space and make one more double crochet like this and now yarn over twice and we're going to be making one triple crochet in the next stitch next chain is going to be two double crochets in the same space go back to the same space and make one more next chain is going to be one double crochet one double crochet in the next chain one half double crochet in the next chain one single crochet in the next chain and we have one left here we're going to be making three single crochets one two and three and i will place a marker here in the second stitch of this tree because this, this is going to be the corner of my leaf the top of my leaf okay now we're going to be working in the opposite side okay i place the marker on the second of these three single crochets that we did in the last chain and now we're going to be working in the opposite side beginning with one single crochet in the first stitch here one half double crochet in the next stitch and make sure to carry here this tail so we are going to be hiding at the same time okay next stitch is going to be one double crochet one double crochet in the next stitch make two double crochets in the next stitch one in two double crochets yarn over twice and in the next stitch we're going to be making one triple crochet like this in the next stitch we're going to be making two double crochets one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch one half double crochet in the next stitch and in the last stitch one single crochet make one slip stitch here in the first single crochet made make one chain and now we're going to grab the the wire and fold it in half We are going to be adding the wire in this second round. Okay, after the chain one, go back to this first stitch and make sure to grab the wire there and make one single crochet. And we're going to continue making one single crochet on each stitch all the way to the marker, making sure uh, you are adding the wire when you do the single crochets like this we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, and 14 single crochets to the marker. Now remove the marker. And in the next stitch, we're going to be making three single crochets. One, two, three. 
make sure to put the marker back in the middle stitch we have one two three here in the top so make place the marker here in the middle stitch and now we're going to be making single crochet down one two three four five six okay let's see we have one two three four five six seven seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen single crochets on the other side as well just place these two wires here and make one slip stitch here on the top of the first uh, single crochet made for the third round is going to be the last one <coughs> We're going to be making one chain. Go back to the first stitch here and make one <coughs> slip stitch. Sorry, after the slip stitch, make one chain. Go to the next stitch and make one more slip stitch here. Chain one, slip stitch in the next stitch, chain one. And this is how we're going to be working all the way to the marker. making the slip stitch, chain one, and the slip stitch. We are almost at the marker. And I am trying to make this as slow as possible. Chain one, remove your marker here make your slip stitch one and two chains go back to the same stitch and make one slip stitch one chain go to the next slip uh, uh, to the next stitch and make one slip stitch one chain and now we're going to be repeating this all the way down So just keep repeating this all the way uh, down here. I am almost done here. At the end, just make the slip stitching. Look for this stitch here and make one slip stitch. One chain and make sure to leave a long tail. Okay. Now just we are going to be um, going around the wire like this. Okay, when you are here, you can just open the wire and make sure to. Okay, continue. Open the wire, go in the middle of it and just twist it. Just keep going around until we are done um, to the, all the way to, to the end. Open the wire here, put the yarn in the middle, and twist it. Just 
just like this we are almost there okay and this is how the leaf looks like as you could see it was really easy to make and the next step is to make this bottom part for that we're going to make one slip knot on the hook and we're going to chain four one two three and four go to the first chain made and make one slip stitch one chain go in here in the in the space in the circle that we form with the four chains make five single crochets and you can add a marker here so you will see which is the first stitch i have one two three four and five we're going to be making one slip stitch here in the first stitch made For the second round, we're going to be making one chain, go back to the same space and make two single crochets, one and two. If you want, you can mark the first stitch here, make two single crochet in the next stitch, one and two, two in the next stitch. Two in the next stitch. And we still have one more stitch here. Make one slip stitch here in, on top of the first single crochet made. And for the second round, we should have 10 single crochets. Chain one, go to the same space and make one single crochet. place a marker here next stitch is going to be two single crochets one two one single crochet in the next two single crochets in the next one single crochet two single crochet one and two here one single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochet in the last stitch at the end of the round number three we should have 15 stitches make one slip stitch here on top of the first single crochet made and from the round uh four five and six we're going to be making one single crochet on each stitch no more increases, just make one single crochet on each stitch. We should have 15 at the end of each of these rounds. Okay, A slip stitch here on top of the first single crochet chain one and make one more round with one single crochet on each stitch i will make one slip stitch at the end and we have one two three four five round six is going to be the same we're going to be making one one single crochet on each stitch around So work the round number six, making one single crochet on each stitch around. At the end, we should have 15, and I will come back with you. And make one slip stitch here on top of the first single crochet made. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, and six rounds. 
for the next we're going to start making these petals so i will start by making one chain go back to the same space and make one single crochet in the next stitch make two single crochets one and two we have in one more here in the next stitch with the increase we have now four single crochets chain one and turn make two single crochets in the first stitch one and two one single crochet on each of the next two stitches one one more here in the next stitch and make one increase here in the last stitch it means that you're going to be making two single crochets so we did two single crochets at the beginning two single crochet at the end and two single crochet and now we have six stitches chain one and turn make one single crochet on each stitch one two three four five and six this is the last one six stitches chain one and turn make one single crochet on each stitch around one two three four five and six chain one and turn we have one two three and four rounds we're going to start decreasing we have one two three and four on the next round is going to be the number six we are going to be decreasing so after the chain one and turn insert your hook in the first uh, stitch here pull up a loop go to the next stitch insert the hook pull up a loop now we have three loops on the hook turn over and go through all of them now make one single crochet on each of the remaining stitches i have one two three and four chain one and turn we are going to be uh, making one sing, uh, decrease with single crochets. I have my three loops. Make one single crochet, un, one, two, and three. Chain one and turn. Make a single crochet decrease, one and two. Make one single crochet on each of the last two stitches. Give me one second. Okay, I finished making the single crochet on the last two stitches. Chain one and turn. Make one single crochet decrease. One single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one and turn. Make one single crochet decrease here in the two stitches left. One chain. Make one single crochet on top of the decrease. And now we're going to be making two chains and cut the turn okay we have one petal ready okay after we cut the turn here i have my hook ready and we are going to start writing the next stitch here in this one making one single crochet make two single crochets in the next stitch one and two and one single crochet in the next stitch we have four stitches chain one and turn make two single crochets in the first stitch one single crochet in the next two stitches <clears throat> and in the last stitch we're going to be making two single crochets chain one and turn now we have six stitches make one single crochet on each stitch one two three four five and six chain one and turn make one single crochet on each stitch one two three four five six chain one and turn we have one two three and four rounds four rows we are going to start decreasing with a single crochet single crochet decrease 
make one single crochet in the next four stitches two three and four chain one we're going to start making the single crochet decrease go to the next stitch and pull up a loop now make one single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three chain one and turn single crochet decrease single crochet in the last two stitches chain one and turn single crochet decrease and single crochet in the last stitch chain one and turn we're going to be making single crochet decrease in the two stitches left here chain one and make one single crochet on top of the decrease chain two and ready okay we have two of these petals uh, and we're going to be repeating the same process we need to make five in total so we need to make three more remember that we have a um, at the end of the round of number six we have 15 stitches so we are taking three for each of the petals I will start the third one with you so after you're done here look for the next stitch available this one and make this single crochet make two single crochet in the next stitch in one single crochet in the next stitch chain one and turn two single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet on each of the next two stitches and make two single crochets in the last stitch one and two chain one and turn and make one single crochet on each of the stitches here remember that we have six stitches now chain one and turn make one more row with one single crochet on each stitch chain one and turn and now we're going to start decreasing single crochet decrease like this we have, have three loops on the hook and go through all the loops and I want you to finish this one and make uh, two more of these petals I will finish mine and I will come back with you I have one, two, three, four, five, and six petals, and I have the stem ready here. The first step is going to be uh, inserting the the stem here in the bone, and we are going to add hot glue to secure the stem to the ball. Okay. We're going to wait a little bit for this to dry. Okay, the first step is going to be grabbing one, one of these. And we can add um, hot glue here in the middle. And place the ball here. Add a little bit of the glue here. Okay. We're going to take one more of the petals. Add the hot glue. Place it like this. Okay. 
we have two ready here. For the next one, we're going to be um, adding the hat glue. And we are going to start hitting the middle like this and just add it like this. Okay, add more hot glue here on this side. And press it like this. Next petal. And start here on the middle of the last one we had. And just place it like this. I need to add more glue. Okay. And the next one is going to be the same. Start here in the middle of this one. If you want, you can just leave it like this with uh, only five petals. I yeah, just want to show you, you leave it with five petals. It looks cute too. But if you want, you can add the, another one. And for this one, for the last one, I will just add it in this part. Make sure you had glue here at this um, side and here too. Just like this. And here is our rose. We are almost done. Okay, I have here three strands of the green yarn and it's about 18 inches the length. And I will be attaching this here because I will be uh, going around the stem down. So it's going to be the same color as the leaves in the bottom part. I would just add it somewhere here and attach it with the hot glue. Just like this. Okay. Okay, for the next part with a with a hook. We are going to insert the hook here in this uh, opening and pass the three strands of yarn that we attach over here. And then we are going to insert the stem here as well. See, it's very easy. Okay, the next step is going to be to Add hot glue around the bottom part here of the rose. Right there. And now just pull this part up like this. Okay. The next step is going to be, uh, you can just leave it like this if you want to. Or you can just add a little bit of the hot glue here in the middle part and glue the this petal here on the rose. Just like this. And 
last one. Okay. And for the next part, we are going to be going around the stem with the three strands of yarn that we added before. I will attach two of these um, leaves. And what I'm going to do is just, I will go around both of them like this. And I will have this ready here. And now I will start going around the stem with the yarn that we attached early, making sure all the stem is um, covered. And maybe at this point I, I will be adding the, the leaves. Just place it like that and continue going around. Now taking the leaves and the stem as well. Continue going around. Just like this. And when you are at the bottom of the stem, add a little bit of hot glue. And the next step is going to be let it dry. And now you can fix the leaves as you wish. If you want to add uh, three instead of two, you can uh, go ahead and add three or only one. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video was helpful to you. Do not forget to subscribe and give us a like and have a wonderful day.